So this is the factory X pipe right here. It's actually two and three quarter. This is one that we built. It's a true three inch and it's full titanium. And it's a single X with a single crossover. The crossover tube is right there and it's mainly for sound. It smooths out the sound tone. The Acrovic exhaust right here. This all came off my C7. I just sold it to this customer. And I think it has about 200 miles on this X pipe and exhaust right here. Also, this car is getting the green filter. This filter is basically like a replacement filter. Actually flows more than the factory one and it is able to be cleaned. It's actually the core is very similar to like a K&N style, but the actual open in here is larger than the K&N. It actually outflows the K&N. Yeah, I tested one now, Dyna. I think it picked up about eight horsepower and it doesn't cheat the air fuel ratio uh, like some of the aftermarket intakes because they're a larger diameter. It's a brand new GM throttle body that K-Tech open up and port. Again, this makes a huge difference with throttle response. It doesn't make as much power up top. Uh, we dynoed one and it made a lot of power down low, but the throttle response is night and day. Uh, the manual cars, right off idle. If you take off light throttle, it almost has a stumble and it's probably in the programming. Well, this is a direct bolt on and it eliminates that stumble. It makes it much, much smoother. And then finally, we've got the DeWitt's radiator right here. It's a dual core radiator and it's for the C7. All right, so this is the factory system. I'm just gonna do a quick weigh. I did this on a previous video, but I'll do it again. So we got a fresh number on before and after. So this is with the gaskets and clamps. 25, 25.14. So these are the clamps that we made. These are a titanium clamp also, and these are quite a bit lighter. These are the ones that come on. Most of your aftermarket X pipes, these are quite a bit lighter. So we're gonna put these on our X pipe so we can get a total weight with the clamps, the gaskets, and the mount. So we've got a true comparison. All right, so this is the titanium one. Again, the gaskets are on, the clamp is on, and the mount right here. Total weight, 9.4. And that's with the flanges, gaskets. We also put an extra O2 bung in here. Not that it weighs a whole lot, I'm just kind of showing you some of the features. So when it's on the dyno, you can actually put a wide bend in there. And this is the mount. And again, the titanium clamp. All right, this is what it looks like now that the bumper is removed. Now you got all the accessible space you need. So these are the exhaust hangers right here. There's no hangers in the front. Once you take those off the hangers, there is a bolt that connects them there. The two mufflers come off separate. So we're gonna weigh each muffler and get a comparison between this and the Acrobic. All right, so we're gonna weigh the stock muffler. This is on one side. This is with the valve off. We're just making a little makeshift scale on our door right here. Uh, what do we got there? 22.9. All right, so this is the Acrobic. Get an idea on these. Again, same way. Tips are on it. No valves. Right, so let's see what we got. 13.9. And that's right there. That's the full system. Again, I'll show you. Let's pull it off here and let's get a quick close-up show. Actually, how pretty these things are. There we go. I want to show you how nice these are. Again, they take advantage of the buy mode right here. So this is... When the valve's open, it's straight through here, and you see it's almost a straight through shot. It's a three inch all the way through here. This is obviously when the valve is closed, it's pretty clever. It branches off here, so obviously a lot of the flow is going this way. These have only been on the car for about, I think about 250 miles. You can see the titanium's got that nice blue color. So this is your quiet valve right here, or your quiet tube. And again, these are real carbon fiber tips. So here we go. The exhaust is installed. See the tips, we've got them absolutely perfect. They're nice and flat, we use a straight edge. Make sure they're right in all different directions. So we are, this is the exhaust. There's a titanium x pipe right here. See how nice that looks. This once it's ran, got some heat into it, the whole thing will turn blue, kind of like those pipes right there on the axle back. 
and you see actually how much we have the tips exposed if you come from the top here you get right on it again they're only out about a quarter of an inch but they look good they're not obviously really overwhelming because they're black but you can see on the insides they're definitely something special and of course when you see the name on the top you know they're you know the brand all right so this is the factory filter it's the typical paper and this is the green filter this actually has this weave here it's actually real deep it's actually from what I remember reading this deeper than the K&N so there's actually more surface area and it's the best breathing filter without changing your intake size so you can actually see how much larger it is in there I know there's a whole bunch of intakes out there for these but again we're not trying to change the boost or change the air fuel ratio that much so this will breathe better than the factory one and then of course we have the throttle body all right so we have the factory throttle body right here and then the k-tech so let me see if i can get a comparison show you what the difference is this is the k-tech right here and again if you order it from them they send you a brand new throttle body so you get to keep your own which is kind of cool that way if you ever want to switch it back so the actual diameter isn't that much different if I, if I remember reading but it's this hump right here Let me turn so I can get the light on it see that hump comes in well this one has been machined almost all the way out it's still got a slight hump and I think it's got something to do with velocity I see better on that angle you can see how much it protrudes versus this one that's a lot more open okay so that's the stock radiator out this is the DeWitt's radiator it's the direct fit and you can see right here pins are the same uh, drain is different on this one comes out here as opposed to the GM one that comes out the bottom mount but you can actually see how much thicker this one is it looks about 30 percent thicker that's the core on that one you can see in relation to the end tank here it's quite a bit smaller this one is almost the same size as the end tank okay all done radiator is in intake is back on filter is in there we are good to go we'll start her up and go through the bleeding procedure punch it it's over 600 foot pounds I mean we did the run on that one at 3200 but the second you crack the gas over 600 foot pounds almost hit 650 so that is the comparison to a bone stock 2017 Z06 see max horsepower 577 599 torque but it's not just the peak numbers that we're looking at here it's all the way through the mid-range as you see the second we crack the gas it's making more power. So while I'm trying to dry the car, it's starting to rain. We're actually under a tornado watch. So I put the car into the shop, finished drying it with an Adams hand towel. So now it's clean, so I hope you enjoy that build. Watch this one behind me. This is an 06 S2000 getting a charge kit. <laughs> 